There has been a shooting at a school in Newtown. At least 27 are dead and counting, many of them children. This is the straw that broke the camel's back. As a country, we have been through this too many times. If we got rid of these, isn't it just possible that we could reduce the carnage in a situation like this? I don't believe that's going to make one difference. The Second Amendment is so simple. Keep and bear arms means they're mine, you can't have them, and I've got some on me right now, and they're loaded. This is about prohibiting the kind of weapons that murdered those poor children at Sandy Hook. That's what's well, history. Just put this assault weapons ban back on the agenda. Right. You as an individual have a right to own and carry firearms. This is all about political agenda. It is not about ensuring the safety of ourselves or our children. There's a great misunderstanding out there between what a sporting rifle is and what a machine gun is here. What I haven't heard is one coherent reason why any civilian in America needs an AR-15 military-style assault weapon. There's one final way to protect your freedom and your liberty. Threats foreign and domestic. We are in the midst of a public health and safety crisis. They understand that they need them for protection because in places like South Central or Watts or Compton, wherever, you can't always depend on the police to come in and help you in time. Controlling guns was never, ever about public safety. It's always been about controlling groups that were uh, politically inconvenient. Every year, 30,000 people are killed with guns. The question isn't so much how do we get rid of guns, it's how do we prevent people from committing crime in the first place. God gave us a constitutionally guaranteed individual right to keep and bear arms, defending our lives from evil.